This idea that I'm telling you, what we did, it was not my idea. It was Maurice Bravenel. He came to us, came to me really personally. He said, uh, Amen, we can't uh, exist unless we're a, a full-time symphony. We're then a part-time. The symphony members had to go out and, and work part-time if they wanted to be in the symphony. He said, I'd like to make them a full-time symphony and keep them working full-time so they don't have to go out and work on these side jobs. Just have them concentrate right on the symphony because they'll receive sufficient income to justify them being full-time uh, musicians. So what it meant was that we had to get a legislature up to appropriate money for the symphony to be full-time. And they said that, that if we would visit all of the school districts in a three-year period, they would give us some money to do out-of-town out of schools. And he would go with us all the time. He went with us everywhere. He'd take us to the smallest towns, to the largest towns. And it was just a, just a joy to, to, to behold. Is we wanted to expose the symphony to these kids, and this would mean that every student would have an opportunity to hear at Utah Symphony right there in their school, and they could see and, and hear what was being played. By doing that, they get paid as full-time musicians, and they don't have to work part-time. He took the full orchestra, not a partial orchestra, played the best, best program like he would give in the tabernacle because with a chance this was the only time maybe this child would hear this music. He did not play Mickey Mouse music. I remember we first, first time I went to West High School with the orchestra, it was Brahms Fourth, all four movements. And the first time that I ever played with the orchestra, it was in Granite High School, and we did the complete Shostakovich Fifth Symphony. I think he carried the same spirit across the state. He wanted every child to be able to hear a symphony orchestra. He wanted to have a program too that was put into effect by the Symphony Guild in which there would be educational programs at both Salt Lake and also across the state. And I think every fifth grade student, as I recall, and when I was present, they had an opportunity to come and hear the orchestra. I was very much concerned about young people getting the educational, musical educational background. And he often said that everybody would be better if they heard and knew and learned and enjoyed music. And I, th I think he's been proven to be right. <laughs> the Utah Symphony was for years the only symphony that was the name of the state. When they started getting money from the legislature, I think all these other orchestras discovered you've got to branch out and, get, and be part of the state. From the very beginning, even ever since Brigham Young first came here, we've been so, so interested in the arts, and it, I think it's part of our DNA. And I hope this will continue on through future generations as it has on preceding generations. Mm -hmm.